Welcome to Earned and Unlocked, the gaming news. This is a whole separate entity from Earned and Unlocked, the podcast, which hopefully will be coming back sometime in 2017. Um, here I want to talk about gaming news. I have done gaming news before. as There is an example on screen right somewhere right now. And I want to turn this into a quality show, kind of like the No from Rooster Teeth or any other production that we see, Games Radar, Game Ranks, stuff like that. Comments and feedback are always welcome, and you can also suggest future news stories you want me to talk about. Uh, this will be done once a week for right now, so Friday, so that leaves Mondays to Thursdays and Saturdays open for whatever else we want to have open, reviews, normal gameplays, let's plays, all that stuff. Now, this episode is brought to you by Gamer Gloves. They have not paid me for this, but I, they do send me products every so often, and I have worked with them for a really long time. They actually just sent me a brand new pair of V2 Greg Gamer Gloves, which are awesome. They're super comfortable and warm, and they also seem thicker. I don't know, these ones seem thicker than the original V2s, which is awesome. Being Canadian and gaming in winter means my hands freeze, and these, ga these gloves provide a little nice, and they have a nice texture on them, so it doesn't feel like your hands are sliding all over the place. I will, I wear them every day, and I will link in the description. I think it's always there, but I will link in the description again if you guys want to go check out and get yourself a pair. Also, if you want to see me elsewhere, I have a daily motion channel and I just started a VidMe. Just in case YouTube starts being really weird again, I started a VidMe. I will leave those in the description below. Uh, those will feature more one-offs and other content like montages and stuff, not so much Let's Plays and the gaming stuff for now. So let's hop right into our first news story. I actually heard about this little gem last week. Was it last Friday or was it something like that? And it fills me with the kind of mixed thoughts about both finally thank God and come on, really? The 10th anniversary of Bully was remastered and released for mobile. The game got major upgrades in graphics making the game look so, so good. It is available for both iOS for $6.99 and Android for $9.99. It includes full game content as well as scholarship edition content, which is just a little extra, some extra classes and stuff like that. Now this game came out when I was 13, so I'm 23 now, and it's very surreal to play a game on my phone that I played on PS2. I forgot the system. Part of me is sad that it isn't being remastered on PC or console, but another part of me is like, yes, this game needs to be in more hands, and now it can be. Uh, I will not be buying this, however, I have it on PC, and I prefer to play games like this, non-native mobile games, on on the consoles or on my PC. Who knows, maybe I'll find an old copy and play it on my PS2. I gotta say, 2017 is shaping up to be another fantastic year for game releases and upcoming titles. There are a lot of titles that we as gamers have been waiting for for a very long time. In January, January, that's a that's a month, we'll have titles like Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which so far has scared the crap out of me and has given me multiple heart attacks and I've only been watching people play it. In January, we also have games like Hitsani Miku, Project Diva Future Tone, Hitman the Complete First Series, and Digimon World New Order. I love Digimon, I watched Digimon as a kid, I still have my Digimon cards. February is probably the most exciting month so far, we have For Honor. Sniper Elite 4, Halo Wars 2, and probably the most looked forward to game, at least in my circle of friends and I, Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm -mm, I can't wait for that goodness. March brings us Ghost Recon Wildlands, please don't suck, Nier Automa Automata, what did I just say? And it looks so awesome, I've heard the soundtrack to it and just like, yes. And finally, Kingdom Hearts 1. 1.5 and 2.5 remixes. And lastly, April sees us have Persona 5, Sniper, Ghost Warrior 3, Bulletstorm full clip, and there's a lot more, uh, but for consideration of time for this video, I would like to keep the list short. If you guys want to see more, I'll link below to the full Game Informers list of what's going to come out in the next few months. And last story, the man himself, Mr. Todd Howard, executive producer, game director, and developer of the Fallout series and Elder Scrolls series, will be on February 23rd at the DICE Awards, will be inducted into the AIAS, or the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences, as its 22nd inductee. He will be among names such as Sid Meier and Mr. Hideo Kojima, the love of my life, along with many others. Having worked on such acclaimed games as 
The Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, Redguard, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, and as well as the extremely popular Fallout series, his place is well deserved among the AIAS family. Now, if we could just get some info on what Bethesda is working on right now, like Sky Skyrim 6, or Skyrim 6, Elder Scrolls 6, or like a Fallout 5? No? No? Anybody with me on that? Again, this video was brought to you by Gamer Gloves. Now, they have not paid me for this, but I do work with them on the regular, and they do send me free products, and I do post it to my social media accounts. They have plenty of awesome products I wear every single day, and we'll leave a link, alo leave a link below if you guys want to get your own. And I hope you guys like this first episode of Earn and Unlock Gaming News. I will let you guys know when the podcast comes back, and next week will also be the last video for Earn and Unlock because it is last video of the year for Earn Unlock Gaming News because it will be New Year soon. So leave some new stories, let me know what you guys think below, leave, leave some suggestions, comments. Um, I'm trying this new software, so, uh, Showbox, and they're gonna it's gonna help me put together the video. So let's see how it goes, leave some comments, feedback, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to click on the videos annotated on the screen and click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.